Hi everyone, so I'm back with a new introduction on my YouTube channel. So in this introduction I'm going to explain you a bit more what you can expect of the next videos coming online and what I have been doing the last few months, weeks and so on. So the last few months I've been doing a lot of stuff, making carbon fiber stuff and so on and the last two weeks I've been editing all this video so I have six more videos coming online in the next few months I'll be posting a new video once a week so every Monday at 17 o'clock Belgian time so if you're from America you just do minus 8 hours if you're from, from Asia you just add 8 hours something like this so um, it's all about videos about making split molds and pre-break carbon fiber so I've been testing a lot of stuff and I've been making videos just to learn you from step zero till pre-prep parts coming out of your mold so normally if you just follow all those steps correctly you should be able to make a pre-prep part um, at home if you want to so that's about the small introduction I would just like to invite a very special friend of mine you will see he's very special uh, just to talk about his YouTube channel um, so Hi, so here thanks is. for having me. So I'm his very special friend. So I want to talk about an other YouTube channel I have. It's called Magic Production. And I was thinking if you like carbon fiber, maybe you like extreme sports edits and so on. So I'll I've been posting uh, one video a month the last six months. So if you're interested in this, uh, have a look and subscribe to my channel. Okay, so. That's about me speaking with my friends over here. Um, I'll be showing you the workflow of what you can expect. So all the parts I've been working on, um, I'll explain you a bit more because it's quite difficult with this tiny screen on tiny screen on here right behind me. So um, you'll see all of that. And then um, one last one last thing, I would like um, to thanks all of you for subscribing and liking my page on Facebook so I've just got my 400 subscriber um, Formula One Boys 2007 thanks for subscribing and hope to see many more of you subscribing to my YouTube channel so up to the last part of the introduction and then next week you'll see the first parts of the series of six videos okay so you had the first introduction so now I'm going to explain you a bit more about how I work so working with carbon fiber isn't always easy like every product you're making there's a lot of testing involved so this was the very first prototype that gave me some first good results um, just to test out so the next step I have did was uh, some testing with hybrid carbon Kevlar so these are the results um, there was a foam core involved as well so these were the second prototypes so these are the same in carbon fiber just to to check the difference between hybrids carbon fiber Kevlar and simple carbon fiber so then I've started making some molds and these were the first coming out of the mold so this is um, vacuum bagged fiberglass with a gel coat on top so these were the first prototypes where I used some lettering inside of the molds so just to test out what the possibilities are with those techniques and so on once that was done I have started uh, using some different fibers so this is basalt fibers I've got these from a company here located in Belgium so these are very special materials, they are fire resistant still around 1000 degree, degrees because they are made out of um, lava stones, so volcanic stones and they make some wires from it, some, some strands that are um, woven together till this material so very cool material maybe for some other purposes and so on but definitely something I'll keep in mind so these are very flexible So, maybe the most important stuff for you guys these were the first gym guards coming out of the mold so these are pre-prick carbon fiber 
So these were the first two and then my technique uh, just got better, just got better and I got some more shine like these are almost perfect so I've been testing another thing right here so um, it's very easy to cut a nice cut in um, pre brick carbon fiber so let me zoom in okay no so here you can see it's very easy to make um, a perfect transition between a different orientation of layers okay so up to the workflow in my video so this is what you can expect in the videos to come so I've started with uh, these shin guards so these were bought in a shop store these are standards shin guards so what I did was uh, I've built I've built um, a mold around this part with this gap closed so that way it should be easier to make resin infusion and so on into the molds. So once that was done I've used this to make a plug out of these molds. So in fact these two are exactly the same with the difference that this part is filled so once that was done I've been building a mold and it's a split mold around this part so by doing I, I've had to do a split mold because there's some undercut right here so undercut means the parts wouldn't come out of the molds if it should be in one part so can see here those lines are coming to the inside so that's a problem I had to solve with a split mold it was quite cool to do because I never did a split mold before so um, quite interesting I've learned a lot out of it how much work it is how precise you have to be and so on so um, this is how the mold looks like and once you have the molds um, you just have to pass cure it into an oven and then you can start with pre-break parts so these are parts coming out of this mold so that's what I'll be showing you in six videos it's about start till finish um, with every detail like for example how to trim these molds how to get them out of each other um, how to lay down the pre-prick carbon fiber and so on so hope you like it and see you in the next videos so to end this video with I would like to thank uh, Voschemi it's a company located in Belgium next to Antwerp and they are making some really cool products like um, the tooling resin I've been using on this mold um, it was the first time I've been working on it and um, I wouldn't use anything different than this because it's quite easy to use, it's fast and um, it's just very cool to work with. So, um, the gel code as well was um, from Voshimi as well as the re release agents and so on. So um, You can contact me if you want some more information about it. Also check out their YouTube channel, they are making some some good instructional videos as well on their YouTube channel so it should pop up right here right behind me so take a look at it and subscribe if you're interested in their YouTube channel so that's about it, that's about it for this video and today uh, stay tuned for the video updates coming Monday 1st it's gonna be on the 9th of September so uh, stay tuned and hope you like the videos